Hello and welcome to an Empower Servers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Geyser on your Minecraft server. So Geyser is a plugin that lets you join a Java server from a Bedrock game. However, if you've come to this video, you probably already know that. So let's get started. First of all, you need to install Spigot onto your server. So come to EmpowerServers.com, log in, game control panel, pick your Minecraft Java server, and then on the left, come to configuration, advanced, and then install different edition. We want to pick Spigot, and I'm just gonna go for the latest version, which is 1.19.3. I'm also gonna format my uh, server as it will get rid of all the files. Please do not check this box if you do not want to delete all your files. Press install different edition, and then just wait a few seconds. Next, come to file manager and just double check your files are there, and there it is. And now press console and start. We're going to use Java 17 and then make sure you accept the EULA. Once your server is online, come to the file manager and then check that you have a plugins folder, which is what we'll need. Now come to geysermc.org. This website will be linked in the description and then press download. However, I'm going to open this in a new tab as we'll also need to install Floodgate. So once you press download, you'll be taken to this page and you want to install the version for Spigot. So just click on the name. And then I'm just going to put that in my downloads folder. After that, come back to the main website, head to floodgate and then scroll down on this page until you see the download button, click that. And then you want to install floodgate spigotjar and put that in the same place. Now come back to empowerservers.com and then press these three dots in the top right corner and then press upload. Now select one of the files that you've just downloaded. I've just uploaded geyser. So now I also need to upload floodgate. I'm going to have to wait for these to upload, however it shouldn't really take that long. Once everything's been uploaded, go back to your console and you need to restart your server for the plugins to take effect. While this is happening, let's find our port. So come to the left side of the screen, system, server details, and your port is the four numbers at the end of your IP. So past the semicolon to the right of the semicolon is your port. This could be four or five numbers. So you're going to want to remember this number as we're going to use it in the configuration. So as you can see, my server is online. So let's go to file manager, plugins, geyser spigot, and then config.yml. First, we're going to want to change the port. So under the term bedrock, just change the port to your port. So 7007 for me. And that is also in the top left of the screen at all times. Scroll down until you see remote. You can leave the address as auto. But you need to change the port once again to 7007 or whatever your port is. And then the auth type, we're going to set to floodgate. If you have a non-premium version of Minecraft or a cracked version of Minecraft, you're going to want to change the auth type to offline like that. However, we are using floodgate in this circumstance, so we're going to rename it to floodgate. Save the file on the bottom right and then once again, restart your server. So now I'm on Java Minecraft and I'm going to connect to the server. So obviously I'm just using the IP from the uh, control panel. However, now for the difficult part, let's connect via bedrock. So here's the IP, I'm gonna press save, and then I'm gonna join server. And as you can see, I've connected to the same world on bedrock. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat, located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.